So, new feature release by us at Zendler. Are you ready for it? Okay, so what we have for you is the new email designer. I know you guys have been asking for this for a long time, for a way to pick a template or start from scratch using an email builder to build your emails. Now at the moment, this is only for email broadcasts, but it will be rolled out across all automations within the Zenla platform. So design beautiful emails that look great on all devices. Start with the stunning email templates or create from scratch. Okay, so we have addressed this pain point for you now with the brand new email designer. The new email designer is super intuitive and you can design high converting email designs with a few clicks. So I wanna pick out some of the main features before we jump into it. I know you want me to jump into it straight away, but hold on one second. Right, so the features we've got is stunning email templates to choose from. We have create your own email designs from scratch. So you can start from a scratch, from, a temp, from nothing at all. We also have design the email layouts the way you want them. Okay, and this is a big one for you guys. Choose from a range of layout blocks, styles, you can change the fonts, you can drag and move or copy elements around. It looks great in mobile views, on tablets, on desktops, uh, produces clean emails that work on any device and on any email client. And we have tested this out using all of the latest browsers, most of the different size phone variants as well. So you can be confident that this is a cleanly coded email that will get sent out, okay? So as I mentioned, at the moment this is just for email broadcasts, but we will be rolling this out across all of the automations on the Zenda platform. So are you ready for it? Are you ready for me to jump in and show you this new email designer? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's go into your site, go to email broadcasts, and nothing's changed from that point of view. So now let's just go in and create a new broadcast. So when we do this, we're gonna get the normal title come up. So we're gonna call this the new email editor, and I'm gonna click create. Now, things are gonna change. So we now have a choice. So first of all, we go into the second part, which is to pick your email list. So we're gonna go in and pick all contacts in this case. Uh, obviously, you've got your from name, your title, and the email address. So when we go to the next step, we're now going to get this new change. So you'll do this as usual, and we try and keep things really intuitive in the platform so that there's not extra learning. We didn't want to change it completely. We just wanted to make those features available where they're needed. Remember also as a little tip, you can duplicate these. Once you've set your template up, you can duplicate it and then you can reuse it. So you haven't got to do all that hard work again. You just do it once and then you modify it as you need it by duplicating that email broadcast. So let's click next. And now we have select a theme. So we have some beautiful themes in here. Uh, they're all responsive. They all work with mobile, tablets, desktop. So if you look through here, you can just pick. And what I suggest you do with the email editor is have a play around. The best way to learn and the best way to see which templates work for you is to just play around, pick some templates. You can always delete them out. You just don't send them. You put them in draft and delete them out. And that way you can play around and just get used to the email editor. It's pretty intuitive, so you shouldn't have any problems. So down here, we've got big color changes. We've got full colored backgrounds. We've got big images in here. You know, a lot of you might just need the basic ones. You might not need anything um, too over over the top inside here. Now also notice down here, we can switch to the classic editor as well. So you could also switch to that classic editor if you want to. So if I hit this button, what you're gonna see is it will just go back and it will now give us the classic editor 
if we click next in here you see so be careful of this because if you've got gone and you've picked the classic editor that's what we expect you to use so you'll need to recreate that um, email to get back to the templates if that's what you decide to do so I'm going to quickly do that now and then we can jump back and carry on okay let's pick a template so I quite like the look of I think this one here could be quite good I put my logo up the top there um, although I want to it would be quite good to choose a colored background just because I can show you how easy it is to change the backgrounds but like I said you should just play around with this and try so I'm going to go into this one first of all by the way guys you can preview here so if you want to preview it you can see what it looks like uh, inside here just gives you a scroll view of what that looks like or you can go back to the themes there so you don't have to go straight in and choose a theme I'm going to choose this one so I selected it, it's gone blue now down the bottom I'm going to click next and what this will do is we'll load that template in there. So now we have that template in there. You're going to see that we have different options on this side. So these are our blocks and these allow you to change colors. So I'm going to go in here and just pick a new color for this. I'm going to pick this orange and I'm actually going to swap this logo out. So I've got the image in there. You can see I can duplicate. If I go over an element, which in this case is red, I can delete it out. I can clone it or duplicate it I can also go into the code so if you are coders you can still go in and change code uh, you'll also see at the top here that we have image as well you have a border setting you can add more elements in there and you can go to the settings for this as well so all very powerful stuff I'm going to go into image here and you can see the image it's chosen this image and you can see you can even put a URL in there for an image as well but I'm going to choose a file so I've got a file on my desktop that I'm going to pick uh, in my emails folder and that is going to be my email logo PNG file. So I'm going to click that and that's going to load in and there we go. So now I can close that down and straight away I've put my logo in there. So as far as colors are concerned, you're going to see that you can add different elements in here. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change this to um, a gray color here. And I'm going to put some text in here. And pretty easy once I select the text in here I can do all my selection options you'll notice up here I can go in I can drop a link in here can change the text color come into the settings for margins uh, text size these kind of things you're going to notice that all of the text changes as you're in a block so it avoids anything going wrong on that side you can also put in variables so variables being someone's name and these sort of things in here we also have style changes inside here as well so you can actually pick um, some of the common fonts in here and we stuck to these fonts because they show well on all devices and all platforms okay so we've got alignment as well obviously we can do all the alignment in here and it's basically as you pick a block you can do these things so also in here you're going to notice that we have a drag and drop ability you know Zenla we are the probably I think the only platform that uses true what I consider true drag and drop uh, for everything in the platform which is no easy feat let me tell you you can also go in here and you can delete images out as well um, you have other blocks in here so I'm going to delete a few things out and then I'm going to show you how to add new blocks in so if I select this block inside here I can just go down to the add and you're going to see and this is where it opens up a whole heap of opportunities for you we have one or two column blocks you have buttons in here um, you have a button in there you've got three column blocks here and you've got miscellaneous with images left right and all sorts of cool things to play with so I'm going to go and drop a button in here as so I notice the buttons just drop straight in here and I'm going to call this cool and then I'm going to just change the color so I'm going to change the color of that um, to this um, I can also put a line break in there like that so I'm going to drop a border color in here now just a border line so I'm going to go in here and we have lots of things like dividers so we've got a divider there if I go into settings I can change the height of this to like six um, I could also change that color to this and notice that you can change the background color of these as well Look, so I can change I can really go wild with this stuff I can change the background colors here if I click outside here I can even go in and change padding and things like that I can look at it how it views on a mobile 
Uh, we've got some shortcut keys in there. We've got some HTML. We've got background. So watch this background. There we go. Bang. I've just changed the background. I love this editor. It's really intuitive, really easy to use. Again, we would use the variables in here. So if you change this out, you can go in and drop one of your um, variables into here and you have the first name, last name, full name, email, mailing address, unsubscribe link. So really easy to use. Once you set this up and we're happy with it, of course you can do the preview and can send yourself a test email as well, which you should do. So I'm gonna just uh, drop in here, test and then I'm going to just click next and I'm going to click save draft now and what we're going to do is uh, we have it in here so what you might want to do is set up just play around spend a few hours getting your email looking perfect and then afterwards when you're happy with it then you'll want to put it into draft and leave it in draft and the reason I say this is because then you can duplicate so you'll have the same template so if I'm going to use this I would call it something like let's call it inside here let's call it template okay and let's just click next and let's just go back to the broadcast now and it will save it as template now I've got that as template so I'm always going to leave it in draft and what I do is I hit the clone so what happens when you hit the clone now you can create copies of that and you can send those out so you've always got the original to go back to so if I click next now you're going to see I've got the uh, copy so this is our new email editor now I'm doing an extended workshop on this and we're going to play around with all of the settings and and look at more of the templates and all of these things but this is a brief look at how cool it is so you get in there and you start playing around remember you can't break it you can always delete out that email if you have any problems or any of those things send message to support zenla.com you can start using this for your email broadcast now and I hope you love it give us the thumbs up with this one remember to check out the extended workshop on this when it's complete I will put it in the video link underneath and I'll also do a Facebook announcement about this amazing new email designer from us at Zenla we really hope you love it guys so get creating get really creative with this stuff and let us know what you think of the new email designer with templates